right here for round three. We're on the draw here. Our opponent kept a seven, and I'm pretty sure we have to mulligan. I hate mulligan any hand that can uh, play an early hardened skills, but we definitely needed a second land in that hand. Uh, this one, not great, but uh, it's pretty good for a mulligan. We're going to bottom the falconer just because we desperately want one more land to be able to cast our stuff or hardened skills. Either one of those would be fine. Mirror match? Yep, mirror match, and uh, he has the scales and we don't. Oh, we drew Dramago's command! Oh man, this might be nice. Alright, we'll go ahead and get our servant into play. And uh, next turn, I'm probably just going to make him sack, put a counter here. Can't imagine he'll play anything that we can slash want to fight. Unfortunately, we have to fetch a planes, though, but I think it's worth it just to get it out. Now, we can offer the trade here, which I don't mind, because if he plays a creature, we don't really want to block. So that's the thing. Uh, so, yeah, I think attacking here is actually uh, the, the better play. Now we just need to draw a land. If we don't draw a land, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Especially now that he has a mana gorger. But things could be significantly worse, for sure. But we have our own mana gorger, and hopefully he doesn't have Dramoka's command. Dueling mana gorgers, you say? Worst case scenario, probably Dramoka's Command plus Avatar. Falconer is not great. It's really good in game one, and it's not great in games two and three. We can take five here pretty easily. Oh man, what do I want to do? I can play Endless One for one and Avatar and have a big flying blocker. I don't hate that, and that might give us enough stuff for Nissa next turn. Plus, it puts a counter on our uh, Hydra. <laughs> puts a counter on a Hydra and an extra counter on our Avatar. And uh, I'm fine attacking with the Servant there because if he wants to eat it, we actually just get to have a bigger Avatar or a bigger Mana Gorger Hydra. Okay, well, our guy has Reach here, so we're, we're not dead unless he has Dramoka's Command, but if he has Dramoka's Command, we are dead. But there wasn't really anything we could do about that, regardless. And I think we just take it. He has Valor Stance. He has Valor Stance we're going to lose anyway, I think. So, I think if we block, we have the ability to survive the long game. So, if he had Dromoko's Command or Valor Stance, I think, yeah, we were, we were just going to lose anyway. But now, we have a Hydra and he doesn't. Yep, level it up. Um, I guess we just take another voice of Zendikar. Okay, yeah, he just conceded. He was going to have to block with most of his creatures there. So, alright, cool. Game one in the books. Uh, I think Lantern Scout's pretty sweet, and then we want all of the Silk Wraps and Valor Stances. I'm not sure how good or bad Gideon is in the mirror. Uh, I don't think Absent Falconer is very good after sideboard. I think it's way less about having a flying creature. Um, it is really good in game one, though. Because neither deck has a lot of removal to deal with it. What do we want to cut, though? We just have to... We have to cut so much. We want all these cards? Alright, I'm not going to worry about Lantern Scout. I might want on the play. I don't think I really want on the draw. 
excuse me. Um, since we're bringing in all these removal spells, it's possible we just want, or we just have to cut creatures. Nissa seems like it's okay, but a little on the weaker side on the draw. We could make our scales, uh, hardened scales, a little worse by cutting servant. Just like cut these five. Uh, I think servant is the least impactful card in the deck, but uh, I guess if we're born in all this removal, we actually want to keep the Nissa. So I think we actually want to board out the servants and maybe one oath. We did. We do have a higher potential to actually brick now since we have all these silk wraps, valor stances, Dramokus commands. It's possible we just want to cut both of the oaths, though, actually, now that I think about it, since we are bringing in so many non-creatures. And well, we'll bring in the Lantern Scouts. We'll see how that works. See if it works. Better thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize that this uh, window wasn't set up properly. I hope none of the cards got cut off. I wasn't paying that much attention to it. So, All right, this hand is great. We're going to keep it. Go and fetch up a green white duel. Having two white sources here actually might be good. We could get to double spell early in the game. Or not I'm sorry, not early in the game. We could get to double spell on uh turn four if with two white spells. Okay. Uh, I think we just want to go ahead and silk wrap the avatar since it's going to do us a lot of damage if we don't and we couldn't valor stance it and we're just going to try to valor stance uh like a, ha a hydra next turn maybe nissa hydra all right so we could get blown out if we play hydra and he has dromoka's command so I think I think we still have to do it and just hope he doesn't have Dromcom. If he has Dromcom, we still have a chance. Uh, we actually can go Valor Stance both of his creatures. And if he plays a Nissa and we don't play Hydra, then we would just get annihilated. So, All right, well, he is about to get murdered, and I don't mean that lightly. Destroy target creature with toughness, whatever or whatever. Whack. And if we get to untap, we can kill one, maybe two more creatures, or just protect our Valor Stance. Or protect our creature with Valor Stance, so. If he plays Nissa, I might actually just let it sit there and just go for the jugular. Angerback Walker. Nissa. Okay. Might actually go after Nissa. Not sure yet. Oh, put counters on his guys. Okay. Yeah, now we're just definitely going to go for him. Just play a 3-3 three, three since I can block his stuff. Uh, if he chooses not to block, I think we might just go ahead and fight his hanger back um that way he doesn't get to grow it next turn maybe that's not worth it now nah, we'll just hold up we're in fine shape here he's at five he can only put uh one more toughness into play off of what's in play all right we'll play a one one Focus command, hold up Valor Stance. Seems fine. Uh, put a counter here, and then have, I guess, Endless One fight Plant. And then throw all our guys at his face. And hold up Valor Stance to protect 
our Mana Gorger Hydra from a Valor stance of his. Alright, like I said, fast games with this deck, one way or another. Uh, yeah, so 2-1. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the next match, and we'll be right back.